as he tags the wall in a big way. And that will bring out the second caution flag of the day here on lap 18. There are the leaders coming around to take the caution flag. Let's see if we can see what happened to Buckshot going into turn one. Yeah, we see him going down the corner. The black car is all by himself. And Todd Bodine pulls up on the back bumper, and all of a sudden, Buckshot's car just gets loose. Did he in the corner a little bit too high or something, Kyle? Just got loose. It, it looked like he just turned down in there. I thought when I saw it the first time that he had turned down so quick that it had turned out from under him, but it just it wiggled a little bit and he jumped out from under him. And you know that's the, that's the way it is. It's been they've had a lot of trouble with these with the bush cars over here in the middle of the corners. The, the cars that have wrecked have wrecked going in and through the center, and it's just uh, it's a downforce issue a lot of times. And, but there was nobody close enough to him to take the air off his spoiler at that time. Well, they, so I'm sure they saw the view on television that we saw when we see Buckshot putting on his hat and walking to the ambulance, jumping in. Now, we told you at the top of the show how close the points were from fifth back to tenth. Buckshot was in seventh spot coming in here, just 42 points behind Mike McLaughlin. Interesting, the sixth and seventh place cars have been the two principals in the first two caution flags. Mike McLaughlin on lap 10 and now Buckshot Jones here on lap number 18. Fortunately, he's able to walk away, so we work caution flag number two. All the safety crews go to work on his Aquafresh Pontiac. 